Hello, Automators! Today I'm taking you on a journey into the depths of the Echo Show 5 Second Gen. We'll plumb the depths of basic setup and crest the peaks of its finest features. <clears throat> <coughs> Today we're setting up the new Echo Show 5 Second Gen and going through some of its more exciting apps and features, as well as running through the settings available to you. The Echo Show 5 setup is pretty simple at first glance, but there are a couple of features whose settings could cause a trip up. We'll make sure that by the end of this video you'll be a wizard at using your new Echo Show. The Echo Show 5 second gen is the most affordable entry in Amazon's smart display lineup. Let's set it up. Let's start by selecting a language. Next, choose your wireless network and connect. You'll need to sign into your Amazon account. If you don't have one, make one. Choose your time zone and your location. Then designate the room your Echo will live in. Select a temporary background or connect your Amazon Photos account. This can always be changed later. Decide if you'll opt into Amazon Sidewalk. You also have the option to set this up as a children's device. This will scrub out most explicit content, set screen time limits, and allow you to set approved contacts for video chat and calling. Perfect for your munchkin. Once set up, swipe from the right of the screen to access your menu. This will give you a number of tabs. The Communicate tab for making calls and accessing drop-in features. The Smart Home tab for controlling connected smart devices and device groups. The Music tab for accessing music, podcasts, and other audio treats. The Video tab for watching any streaming services you might have, as well as YouTube. Routines for adjusting any Amazon routines you have set up. And Alarms for changing when your Echo screams at you. Under Communicate, you can access one of my favorite features. The ability to make announcements through other smart speakers in your home. This feature is a great alternative to the traditional bellowing of DINNER'S READY! or for sending vital news to others in your home without actually looking them in the eye. From Brian. Under the Music tab, you have access to Amazon Music, Spotify, and Podcasts, as well as you can have the Amazon's voice assistant read your ebooks out loud to you. The speakers on the second-gen device sound like they've been adjusted in some way when compared to its predecessor, but that could be the shiny newness deafening me. You be the judge. The Video tab gives you access to Netflix, Prime Video, and other streaming services. You'll also access YouTube here, which uses the Onboard Silk browser. The Echo Show 2nd Gen has the highest resolution screen of all of its smart displays, with a pixels per inch of 195. The Routines tab gives you access to all of your Miss A routines, making your Echo Show into a control hub for your smart home. You'll be able to sift through and activate any of your routines from this section. These are limited to those routines created in the Miss A app and devices you've integrated. The Alarms tab allows you to view and adjust your alarms, as well as create new ones. As a faster method, you can ask the voice assistant to create an alarm for a specific time. You can also ask her to delete any existing alarms you have set. Under Smart Home, you'll be able to see integrated smart devices and device groups, and activate them. Hitting Groups will take you to your list of rooms and allow you to see if you've left a device on, and to turn those off remotely. You can also hit Cameras to go through your smart home's cameras and view their feeds. Swiping from the top of the screen allows you to return to your Echo Show's homepage. You can adjust the brightness here and also turn on the Do Not Disturb mode to avoid any unwanted calls, alarms, or announcements made from other devices in your home. If you hit Settings, you'll be brought to your device's options. 
You'll be able to manage your Bluetooth connections here as well as pair new devices. Home and Clock will allow you to customize your Echo Show's homepage, changing the wallpaper and clock. This is where you can choose if your device uses personal photos or not. Under Home Content, you can change just how busy your home screen is, allowing you to have it cycle through your calendar, news, messages, sports scores, and a bunch of other options. You can also turn off the Rotate Continuously option here to allow your Echo Show to be a more peaceful, calm photo frame. Display gives you options for brightness of your display, as well as the ability to turn on adaptive brightness, which lets your Echo Show detect the lighting in the room and adjust its own brightness appropriately. You can also adjust how rapidly your photos will cycle through on the device. And turn on a sunrise effect, which will gradually increase the display brightness prior to alarms, to provide a calming wake-up experience if the show is in the room you sleep in. Sounds will allow you to adjust volume levels for specific features, as well as modify notification and alarm sounds. You can also access and activate free time mode from this menu if this is a device for a kid. The camera setting allows you to turn home monitoring on or off, letting you remote access your Echo Show's camera. You can also turn on a video delay for your video calls, making your Echo Show alert you when your camera is on. Under Device Options, you can go into Web Options and change your browser settings. This includes privacy options for the onboard Silk browser. At the bottom of Device Options, you can check for any available software updates. You can turn on Tap Gestures, allowing you to tap the top of the Echo to snooze your alarms. You can change your temperature and distance measurements to units that actually make sense. Under Accessibility, you'll find options for turning on the screen magnifier. Once on, you can activate this feature by triple tapping the screen with one finger, which will zoom in on that point for you. With this on, you can also pinch to zoom in. Using two fingers will move the zoomed in screen for you. Color correction will allow you to turn on colorblind friendly modes on the screen. Real-time text allows you to type during a call and have that text displayed to everyone in the call. You can turn on captions for videos and for Miss A when available, and adjust the text size and color for your captions. There's also an option to turn on call captioning. To get the most out of your Echo Show, there are some great tips and tricks in this comprehensive Miss A app video. Thanks for watching.